sorry about that. My youngest daughter was screaming at the dogs to be quiet. So all the while, she's making more noise than what they're making in the first place. All right, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and make the loop for the top and we're gonna put beads on there too. Beads and then we've got some charms and wings and all that good stuff. So we're gonna start with another head pin. And then, let's see, what are we gonna put first on this one? Um, we're gonna put a little spacer bead for sure. Um, let me get a little tiny, pretty clear crystal one. I think that will look really nice. Let's see. So let's see what we have in here. Um, here's a small, smallish one. We'll just use this one. It's a glass bead. When I first started beading, I had a lot of uh, acrylic beads. I still have some of those left, so I still use them. I think they look good still. Definitely more durable, so they won't break. So there's the little, the little glass bead. Let me get straightened out here. All right. And this is the one for the top. And we're gonna make one more for the bottom, and then that's going to have our little breast cancer charm hanging off of it. And we're also gonna have, this one is gonna have a little heart on it. So, all right, so we're gonna start with this bead. We're gonna use, of course, a spacer, a spacer bead. So when you get spacers, try to get a different size spacers, whatever you can find. Um, the little ones are your friend. All right, so we're gonna put this like that all right and then I've got these different um, beads I, I like trying to use different shapes I didn't before because I like it to look perfect but I realized that dimension and different shapes and things together make it look better so we're gonna use this oval bead and it's already got the hole through the middle so we don't have to do anything. Not that I could do anything if it wasn't there. So there's that bead. And then now I want to put my angel wings on. We're going to put this angel wing on and it already has the hole in the bottom right there. So we just, we just slide it on. So this is what it looks like so far. And then we're gonna put another bead on top of that. All right, which bead should we put on top of that? We got this one. Let's try a couple different ones. Let's see, this one. I don't like the way that one looks. It looks okay. Ouch. Um, and we got this one. This is a clear crystal bead. That kind of looks good. I like that. It shines really nice. I think I've got a pink one like that. The pink will look better, I'm sure. Pink always looks better. So yeah, there we go. We're gonna go with that. So this is what we've got. And we're going to attempt to make another. Get it down as far, push it down as far as you can onto the bead. Right, 90 degree, turn your pliers. I flip them around, it's easier for me. Turn it and then go around and around. All right, and there's enough there that I can probably go around and seal it up, which it looks nicer. I'm not that good at it, but it do, it it definitely does look better that way. So I'm gonna go around, try to. Even if I can only go just once, it'll be all right, because it'll seal the bead then. Okay, there we go. And there was enough room to go once. So I'm going to flush cut that. 
and try to, when you flush cut, try to flush cut away from you because you wouldn't want to get hit in the face with anything. I know I don't. All right. Yeah, I'm also getting ready to work on a um, mini album. I got the tutorial from um, Kathy Orta, the M for Memories. I'm going to be doing a Christmas album with that. So I, I think it's going to come out good. This actually didn't come out bad at all. So there we go. Let me see if you can kind of see that. Let's get it up. The camera. There you go. And we just wrapped one time around. And that'll seal that really good so those beads won't go anywhere. All right. So this is what we have. We've got, get back here. We got two for the bottom, one for the top. Now this is going to attach to a jump ring. And this is going to have a jump ring. And where's our claw clasp? And we're going to have a claw clasp at the top right there. So all we gotta do is make one more bead so we can have our breast cancer charm on there, our bead dangle. So we're going to use an eye pin because we want to dangle the, um, the breast cancer charm off of that. All right, so let's start with a tiny bead. Or not tiny, but small. Sorry. You gotta be careful sometimes the paint or whatever they put on there is kind of overlapped and you gotta push through like that. All right, there's our pink. And let's go ahead and use a white glass bead. And we need a spacer. Let's see, we'll use this small little spacer here small one we used earlier. There we go. And I hope you can see this. All right. Then, where are we at? Get back here. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. And then I'm going to put a bead cap on there because I think it looks nice. I'm going to see if this one will fit or if it's going to be too big. Yep, it's too big. But actually, we can form it around it. These, these are flexible. This metal's completely flexible. And you can mold it around, make it smaller, um, or whatever. And it's really lacy and pretty. So when you put your other bead on top of it, it's going to stop it from moving around. All right, just one second. I need to get a drink. All right, so, oops, sorry. So there we go, all nice and pretty. Oh, I really like that. Okay, now it's gonna be hard for me to give this away. Um, and let me see. So we're gonna put another bead on top. Another bead on top, and then what? What do we need to do? We need to put. Um, we're gonna put one of these crystal pink hearts on here and um, let's see how we're going to do this hmm we can actually hmm we can actually hang it off we'll have the heart and the um sorry we'll have the heart and the breast cancer charm both hang off of that but they'll be on two separate jump rings that's what we'll do okay problem solved all right, so I might let me try this. Let's see how this looks. This is a crystal. No, this one's this one's acrylic. An acrylic heart, and then we'll put a little tiny. Sorry, it's hard. I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way. There we go. And then we will just put a little bead on top. Let me get another small um, pink bead. And then now when you when you do make this loop, make sure you do it tight because of this down here. That seems I I've really just a minute. Alright, let's put this on there. 
Whoa, slipped out of my hand. Okay, so there we go. And now we're just going to get this down on there as best as we can. And you can use, um, let me get these pliers and try to push that down on the bead better. So just, and it's a glass bead, so you don't gotta worry. Nothing's gonna happen to it. Well, I've never had anything happen to it, so let's hope that's true. All right, so there we go. See, there's that little piece sticking up. You just keep pressing it down and it'll stick to it. There it goes. There we go. And there's our bead. All right, so now we're gonna make another loop. This is gonna be a long video, I fear. Okay, well, starting and stopping didn't help, but we're gonna put this down and then we're gonna go around right there. And then um, we're gonna snip, we're gonna snip some off. Like I said before, snip away from, away from your face. Okay, and then I'm gonna start back here. However big you want the loop. I don't need a real crazy big loop. And then turn your pliers. Oops, sorry. Then turn. Let's see, you don't want it too big. And turn your pliers. There we go. And push that down where you cut it. Straighten it out. Um, I'm going to cut this little tiny little piece off. There. And then now we want to just squeeze it shut. So we keep everything in place. And there's our little, our little ring. And it doesn't bother me if it's doubled right there. I just know that it's not going to come apart. And that's what I care about. So, alright. So this is our bottom. So far, this is what we're going to have. This is a smaller one, or the bigger one. So, let's see. So we're going to go, I think we're going to go like, oops, like that. We could even attach this one off of this and make another one off of it. If we wanted to, we could do that. Um, but we're not because we're going to put... Well, actually we could. Actually, that would just make it longer and prettier. Yeah, I think we will put a jump ring and attach that. So we might just go ahead and make um, one more small little big dingle right there. We'll do that real quick. It won't take no time at all. Well, hopefully. All right. So I'm going to start with the tiny bead. This one is not going to be very long because we've already put a lot of, um, we've got a lot going on on the other one, but with beading, glitter, glitz, bling, there's never enough of it, in my opinion. Oops, we need a head pin. We need a head pin this time. All right, so let's do a head pin. Okay, oops. There's our head pin. We just slipped it on just like we did with the other ones. All right, and then what are we doing here? What do we want to put on this one? Another pretty one. Um, I'm going to put a spacer on here. Let me get a small spacer. I ran out. All right. Let me see where I put them. Here they are. And there's this. There's our spacer. All right. Okay. Here's a little spacer bead. I'm going to put it right on top. And then um, I think we're going to do another one of 
the oblong ones, maybe. I don't know. Let me think about that. I haven't used this one yet, so we're going to go ahead and do this round one. There's that round one. And then we'll put, um, let me see if I have a, here's another small spacer, our bead cap. No, I don't like that. We'll put a spacer in between that. See how that looks. Let me see. Um, how does that look? Ooh, way too big. Okay. Um, here's one. We'll just use this spacer bead here. And that will fit fine. And then we'll just put a, another glass bead on top there. Oh, goodness. And then I'll probably just put a little white pearl bead. Let's see. If we have a bead cap, we will put a bead cap on this. I think bead caps make it look finished. And then we're going to put a little pearl at the top. All right. So there we go. This one looks, it, it's a faded pink color. It's hard to see on camera. So we're going to pull that all the way over. I'm going to pull that all the way over again. There we go. And we're going to cut it off. Remember to cut away from you. And then we're going to, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to twist, turn, keep turning until you hit the bottom. All right, there it is. And then we're going to straighten it out. All right. Okay, let's just straighten this out. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry. There we go. And there's our bead. Still needs a little bit more straightening. There we go. Now. There we go. Now it's straight. There we go. All right. So now we're going to start connecting with our jump rings. All right. Um, here's some jump rings. And with jump rings, you always want to twist, not pull apart. I'll show you what I mean in a second. All right, where did all those go? I took out. Oh, here's some smaller ones. So we were going to be using two different sizes. One medium, one smaller, and they even have some that are smaller than that. All right, so now we just need, I'm going to be using these two, these two pliers for opening the jump rings. So first thing we need to do is we're going to, let's see if you can see that. We're going to, oops, sorry, that was my phone. We're going to twist. There we go. All right, give me one second. Make sure it's not my kids. Okay, nope. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're going to put this through our loop. And there's our, our loop. There we go. There we go. There's our loop. And now we're going to add it to, we're going to add it to, 
we'll add it to this one. To this one, make it real pretty. Now we're just going to make sure you have a good grip and then twist it back until you get it back the way it was. There we go. And sometimes you just gotta twist and twist till you get it back the way it was. There. So that's how that bead is going to look hanging off of there, okay? All right, so now we need to add a jump ring to this one that's gonna go to the bottom of the bottle cap charm. So we need a medium this time. All right, we need a medium. There we go. Now, actually, we need to add our charms. So let's, well, we're adding one ch metal charm, and then we're gonna add a metal charm, and then we're gonna add one of these here. And these came on these jump rings, and don't throw those away, because you can reuse them for larger projects. And the chain, too. You can use it for dangling chain which that will be another video we can do if you want so you can see how we hang it off. All right, I'm just trying to measure up to go through the heart so that's not open enough. Might have to use a bigger jump ring, I don't know. We'll see. Oops. Nope, it's fine. There we go, and we're just going to, I'm just, I'm gonna semi-close it because we're gonna have to add it anyway. So there's that one, let's get another jump ring. We'll get another medium size jump ring. Ah! All right, and there's another one. We're going to twist, twist, and then we're gonna put it through here. All right, so now we've got our, there's our charm. Which way? I think it looks better this way. And that'll give us more room on the bottom. So we're gonna put this charm on there. Get it straight and just keep going back and forth till you get it back the way it was. You can squeeze it together once you get it. There we go, there's that one. And then we got this one. That's why I didn't close this one all the way so we could put it back on the loop too. And there, it's all lined up. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. So there's this charm. There we go. There we go, there's that one. Okay, this is what we have so far. We got this one and this one. This is what we've got to dangle so far and then we're going to dangle this smaller one in the middle. So that's how the bottom's gonna be. And then this is gonna be the top. So let's go ahead and attach this to the top. And we need a medium jump ring, twist. All right, get our bottle cap charm right here. And then we've got the bottom. Oh, my bad, the top, right? Okay, so now let's see which side do we want at the bottom, I think. Obviously, the wings have to go up. Hello. All right, so we're just going to let it drop. Oops, sorry. I'll take that off and do it again so you can see. And I'm going to slide it on, let it drop down. And then now we're going to 
put this back together. We're going to until you hear it. And you can hear it. Like you can hear the metal when it's touching the way it's supposed to be so your stuff won't come off. Yeah, trust me, stuff has come off before that I've made. So I've been learning my lesson. So there's that. We're just going to attach our claw clasp. Now just remember, you're going to have to use a small jump ring to attach the claw clasp. So that's what we're going to do now. So here we go. All right. All righty. And we're going to twist. And we're going to put it in here. And where's our claw clasp? We're using a medium claw clasp. Well, I mean, there's large, extra large, me I mean, there's so many different sizes, but this is medium for me. So, and then we're just going to, I don't know if, you, if that was in camera, so I'll do it on camera. You just get the little, there's a little ring on it, and you just slide it on. And then you just twist back and then you, you can readjust if you're like if it seems like you're not getting where you need to be just twist and then there we go there we go excuse me yeah all right so let's go ahead and add our pretty oops our pretty charms all right, so now we're gonna add the jump ring and it, it looks like a lot, like this won't be able to hold it, um, but actually it will. I've got a thicker one that I wanna use. If you look at the gauge at this, you can see, see that gauge like that and then you can see this one. Try to use a thicker one if you can find them. I think Joanne's, that's blurry. Try to get that to focus, there we go. And you can see this one is, is definitely thicker just so you don't have to worry about it falling apart um oh sorry and then we're going to slip it through the jump ring or the bottle cap and then we're just going to slide this on let me see let me think about this oh we're gonna go first i think we should go this way this one, this one, and then this pretty one. All right, now we're just going to close the jump ring. Seems like a lot and it won't close. It will close. You can put a lot more on these than you anticipate. And you can even, if you don't like it like this, you can add chains too. Just get it. We got to make sure we get that closed and even. And there's a nylon hammer you can get that I've seen other people use, but I don't know. But I'm going to just level these down with my pliers here and just make sure that it's closed. Let's see. Is that going anywhere? Nope. It's not going anywhere. But I'm just still going to work it so I can get it straightened. Here. Let me get the big boys out here. Alright, there we go. Alright, now it is not going anywhere. Now, what you can do is, you do not like this, you can add a individual jump ring to each one of these. If you don't see, cause see how it looks stacked like that. Um, yeah, I, I think I might add jump rings. I just, I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think we will. I normally don't, but, but I think she wouldn't mind, but still I want it to look nice for her. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and take these back off. All right, so let's take them back off and we'll put individual jump rings on and 
and then we'll be all finished. All right, let's get some small jump rings. Here's one. Here's one. Let me get a couple of littler ones. Here we go. Two. And let's see. Three. And we'll give them their own jump rings. All right. So we will just, we'll just go ahead and pop this open. And we'll put our middle one, which should be this one, we'll pop it on. So now we want to close this without anything on it, since we're going to use, since we're going to, going to use jump rings, individual jump rings for it. Okay. And I heard the metal go together. All right. And then we're going to... And you'll see it will hang it it will hang better that way, but alright, so let's just close the jump ring and just go back and forth. Sometimes you gotta straighten it out by pressing down like we've been doing before. I hope my hands were in this most of the time. Alright, there's that one. Do, we're going to go ahead and do the smaller one, the middle one. We could have just did two, but I like to do three on the bottle cap charms. So let's go ahead. Here, let me take that off. I know I've shown you in this video how to put it on, but just in case I wasn't in frame somewhere. I hope you can see this. All right? Oop. There. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it on our, our put on our jump ring. Let's close this jump ring. Okay. All right. All right. See, and then you can see that now it's not overlapped. Um, if you don't mind the overlap, then you don't get any jump rings, but I always have to, I, sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, I, I don't always, but doing the jump, individual jump rings takes a little more time, but it looks good. So, oh, let's do that on camera again, just in case anybody missed it or you're fast forwarding or something. Um, there we go. Put that on just like that, and then we're going to put this on right here. And now we're going to close it, and we will be done with this. If this video is too long and you don't like any part of it, just fast forward. And I'm going to post pictures of this too at the end so you'll be able to see it. So let's zoom out so we can see and remove all the junk that I've taken out of there. Now let me show you this jump ring too. This, these are medium large but you can see the gauge on those are definitely much thicker than um, the gauge of these. So. All right, so here is our charm. Let's lay it out so you can see how pretty it is, how blingy and pretty it is. And we're gonna put our little guy in the middle right there. So there we go. I'll probably glue that glue that bead cap down. I can do it right now while we're on here. We'll use glossy accents. It dries perfectly clear, and you. I'll tell you right now, you do not need a lot. You just need a little tiny, tiny bit of the glue. All right, and you're just gonna go down to the top. You just need a little bit, like a very little bit. And then you're gonna see it come up through the top right there. And then just hold it there for a few seconds and then it will stick. So then you can add a little bit in the hole right there. It's gonna dry clear, so you're not gonna have to worry about it. 
All right. So there we go. There's our pretty breast cancer awareness charm it'll stick and we are all finished with this video so i hope you liked it i hope you saw everything um let's go ahead and get see if we can't get closer so you can see it there we go oh i guess we can wow okay um there we go and you can see everything there you can see the breast cancer charm and like I said I'll um, take still photos too at the end so you can see it and there keep going down and there's our top and our claw clasp so she'll be able to hang it off her purse or whatever she wants so I hope she likes it and I hope you all have a great day and enjoyed this tutorial um, just if you have any questions leave a comment and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber because the next one I make is going to be given away as a giveaway so I don't know if it'll be as elaborate as this but it will be very pretty so and maybe we'll do it on camera and then whoever whoever wins then I will send it to you so just leave a comment here um, if you like the video and in the next video, we're going to make one of these and then give it away. All right, so I hope you all have a nice week, and I will see you soon. Bye.